Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. For the fourth day in a row, we're taking a look at some of my various clamps. Today, let's look at these quick grip clamps. I only have a few of them, but they are really useful at certain things, so you might want to consider adding some of these to your clamp repertoire. So on a typical F clamp or a parallel clamp, you can start twisting the handle, but there gets to a point where the thread runs out. And if I want to move this any further, you got to slide this along the bar somehow. Same with these parallel clamps. The thread part is this long, so you have, you know, you have about three inches that you can move the jaw before you have to do something else. In contrast, you take this pistol grip quick grip, and you can start here at this end, and you can just keep moving it, moving it, and it will just go along the entire travel of the clamp. Same with this, I, I can't even fit it on screen. I've got this, this one here. I can start the clamp here and I can start squeezing. And I'll speed up the footage so you don't have to sit through it all. But you just keep clamping and clamping and this will travel the entire length of the bar. And no, I've never done that in an actual clamping situation that I've gone the whole distance. The point is that there's no limit. You can just keep going as long as you need to go to close the clamp, to, to, to move what you're moving. I've used this when I'm using the clamp to bend or flex something that I, I don't need to reposition my hand or reposition the clamp. I can get this into position and I can start clamping. They offer a lot of clamping force and they're really good at one-handed clamping operations. I have four of these blue Irwin click quick grips. I think they're the XP6000 or something. I'll, I'll have links to all of this down below. I have another old one that I inherited from my dad. It doesn't actually have a brand on it. It just says from the makers of vice grip tools, which is Irwin. So this is also an Irwin. I think this is one of the original that this grew out of. And I also have this little Jorgensen one that I got as a freebie at a conference last year. This is also the same type of pistol grip type clamp where it will go along. The difference between the Jorgensen, if you can tell, is the release is on the back, whereas on the quick grip, you've got the pistol here and then you reach forward for the release. Same on these blue ones, you know, you, you got your hand on the pistol here and then you reach forward for the release. I've had the Irwin ones for years and so I found it odd when I, when I got this one that it had this quick grip in, the, in a different spot. It just feels awkward to me and I wonder if it's a patent issue because I did some googling and Bessie has a similar type of clamp and it also has a rear mounted release. DeWalt has a similar kind of clamp but it basically looks like a clone of the Irwin so maybe they licensed it. I don't really know. I, I'm not really wanting to get into brands here. I just wanted to talk about the sort of the, the pistol grip style of clamp. One neat feature about these clamps is that they're easily reversible. So on the Irwin, I just pop this little thing and then I can take the end and move it to the other end of the clamp bar and then put it back together. And now you have a spreader. Anybody who's done furniture disassembly, something like this can be really good. This little Jorgensen has the same thing, just a little button, quick release. You pop it there and you can slide it on the other end. Interestingly, this old one does not have that ability. This end is firmly attached to the bar and over at this end there's this pin that prevents it from coming off. I'm not sure. Here I found this RD 1990 and then a, a, a number. So I'm, I'm wondering if this one is from 1990. So it would be, you know, 32 years old. Again, I got this from my dad. I have no idea where he got it. I don't tend to reach for these when I'm like gluing boards together. I tend to reach for my parallel clamps first. And a lot of that just has to do with the fact that these have this curved end on them. The parallel clamps are flat so you can stand them up much easier. I might reach for this as the third or the fourth or the sixth or the tenth clamp when I'm doing a really big clamping operation when I just, you know, I need every clamp that I can get. Okay guys, I think that's about it. This was just a quick video talking about these quick grip or pistol grip type clamps, however you call them. Just wanted to talk about why I thought they were useful in the shop. Have I missed anything? What, you know, if you've got some techniques that you use these clamps for that I didn't mention, please drop them down in the comment section and we'll all share the knowledge. And yeah, if you have any questions about any of the other clamps that you see on the wall or 
or anything else that I've talked about, please drop it down into the comment section. I try to get to as many as I can. If you feel I've earned it, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button, and we'll see you on the next one.